you and yourself conquering Elden Ring, best friends as it should be. But what if I told you there's actually a better summon that you can get? Hello, my fellow Tarnished. It is no secret that the Mimic tier is ludicrous ridiculous. After all, there is nothing better, supposedly, than summoning in what amounts to essentially a whole other player without increasing the health of the boss. A, a summon that can copy your build, and if you're facing a boss that's just a little bit perhaps under your level, solo it for you, or indeed hard carry you through some of the harder ones. So once you get it, you upgrade it, you use it forever, you're done, right? Well, not necessarily. The Mimic tier obviously costs health, so it's down a potion at the start of each fight you summon it. So I was looking at all of the various FP summons and doing some testing, having a, a kind of averagely difficult boss, summoning them in at plus six, which is about right for the boss, seeing how far they get trying to solo it, and look, nothing really came close to the Mimic tier. Not even the two, well, what I would say, best non-Mimic summons, or at least two of the best, two other legendary, renowned Ashes. They're both pretty good, but they are not Mimic tier good. Oh, and as a fun little side fact, the archer that you can get after beating Radan from the cave that is north of Radan's desert arena fires gravity arrows from range and does a lot of damage if the boss is distracted by you. Also, as a secret interaction where if you use the war cry that you can get as an Ashes of War on certain weapons, it will trigger them to do a raid of gravity arrows, which actually does a lot of damage. Only once per summon, but still, how neat is that? But again, pales in comparison to the Mimic. So, I was gonna give up. Essentially, I'd gone through so many summons. But the final one that I tested truly saved the day. Hello. Meet then Black Knife Tish? Tiche? Tiche? Black Knife that name. In any case, this is another legendary summon, a renowned Ashes, and this time really earns that title. Before we go into what they do, let's actually go over how to get them. You have to all but complete the Rani Dagnan Greatsword storyline. I do have a guide on how exactly to do that as quickly and easily as possible, which I will link down below. Eventually, though, you get access to the south raised mountain area of Leonia, and upon there, up to the northwest, there is a prison. Enter the prison and then do glorious battle with the inmates. This fight is intense. Electo Black Knife's ringleader. What you need to do in order to beat them, one really simple trick that I found is incredibly effective is... For real though, they are very easy to stagger lock, but other than that, they're insanely aggressive, and they actually use against you the move that makes the summon so powerful. But once you manage to get past them, you will indeed claim the summon. So, why exactly is it so good? Well, first and foremost, it's the most expensive summon in the game. At least that we know about, but I'll be very surprised if it ever gets topped at 132 FP, which is understandably a lot of FP. So this is truly a summon for those that have been pumping mines, so naturally probably int builds, but it is definitely worth every single point. So let's establish the ground rules for this test then. I summoned the Mimic tier first with my Dark Moon Greatsword and had it melee these uh, lovely testing boss volunteers, and it did okay. It kind of injured the first one a little bit, that's about as far as it got. However, Mimics are obviously best cloning your actual build, so when I summoned it as a sorcerer, it did huh, appreciably well, almost killing the first and injuring the second. That is the bar, that is pretty good. I ran these tests numerous times, and these are the best results each summon got. So then, when we swap over to Miss Black Knife, well, you can really see the power straight away. 
First and foremost, she is quite hard to kill for an enemy because she spends a lot of her time dancing around, dodging, drifting through the air, and generally being a nuisance. Again, the same kind of moveset that the boss used against you works wonders against the bosses and enemies that you summon her against. But the piece de resistance and the reason that this summon above all others competes and in a lot of cases best the mimic is the red black flame projectile that she sends out. This afflicts targets hit by it with a dot, a debuff, some damage over time. But the damage of that dot is percent health damage. So the more health the enemy has, the harder this hits. And obviously bosses have the most health, so it just melts their bars down. Against normal enemies, this tickles, because normal enemies, again, have a really much lower health pool. But then again, you don't really summon against normal enemies anyway, so that's kind of a moot point. But in any case, not only does it melt boss health with percent damage, it also passes through enemy struck. So it can hit both bosses in a double gank fight at once, melting both of them simultaneously. Which means that our black knife friend managed to end up here. This much damage done to Gargoyle 1, that much done to Gargoyle 2, and collectively, just as strong as a showing as the Mimic. More damage on Gargoyle 1, less on 2, but overall, pretty similar. And that, right there, is, well, as I'm alluding to, incredibly impressive. But this is kind of a mid-game boss with a plus 6 to keep things about fair and balanced. When you start getting to the end-game bosses that have much, much higher health pools that start actually requiring a lot of killing from you, yourself, and your build, that weakens the Mimic's effectiveness because it is you, yourself, your build. Whereas pure, this will do more damage the more health the boss has, just gets exponentially better the harder, higher health bosses you face. So basically, Black Knife is going to slowly start overtaking the Mimic, at least in certain cases. Your build might be particularly good transferred onto a Mimic, but I think there's no coincidence this is a high FP cost summon, because generally speaking, the best Mimics are Strength Dex Melee Mimics, as opposed to Casting Mimics that just get continually crushed and interrupted by the bosses, at least the more active, agile, difficult ones. So for the sorcerers out there, when you get to the hard stuff, having Black Knife at Tiche here is, well, a very solid, strong choice, and the data would suggest might very well outdo the Mimic, and at minimum equal it in performance, and let you have, you know, a little bit of variety. So there you go, everybody. That is my little look test on summons, with the result, the report, to share that the only summon in the game that competes with the Mimic on a direct boss damage effectiveness level is Black Knife and is something you should definitely consider getting as you progress later and later into the game if you indeed have the FP to summon her. Alrighty, let me know if that was indeed useful. I very much hope that it was. Subscribe for more Elden Ring tips, tricks, guides, funny things, builds, you know it, hit that bell, and please consider supporting us and the future of the channel on Patreon down below. It really does mean the world and keeps us going. Until we meet again then, a good one. Josh Cotton and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye